season three is coming to an end, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Salosa, and this is Unit Lost. And in this video, let's talk about if we've actually managed to hit our season three competitive goals. What I want you to do right now is go into the comments, and I want you to leave a comment with where you got placed and where you actually wanted to get, and if you managed to do that. So explain if you managed to hit your season goal, or if you didn't, and explain why you think you didn't hit your season goal. I think they will be super interesting to read. Okay, let's take a look at the rewards for Season 3. So, this is based on your highest rank. So, it doesn't matter what your actual rank is right now. Wherever you manage to get, this is how you'll get your reward. Okay, so, if you manage to get to, uh, well, if you're in bronze, you'll get 100 competitive points. If you're in silver, you'll get 200 competitive points. If you're in gold, you'll get 400. If you're in platinum, you will get 800. If you're in diamond, you will get 1,200. If you're in master, you will get 2,000. And if you're in grandmaster and above, you will get 3,000, which means, of course, everybody who managed to achieve Grandmaster will get a golden weapon at the end of the season, which is awesome if you've managed to do it. So, those are the rewards. Obviously, you will get the animated spray if you get to top 500 and all that fancy stuff, but let's be honest, top 500 players, if you are one of those, you are an awesome player of the game, and that is fantastic. So, those are the rewards, and that is when the season is going to end. The next season, which is competitive season 4, obviously, will start on February the 28th at 4pm PST. So, so there's not that much of a break. In fact, it's one week, which is exactly how it was for season two to three, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, we don't because I mean, having downtime is kind of annoying, but it lets them update the game and it lets them change the competitive system. What they're going to do to change the competitive system? Well, we'll get onto that a little bit later on in the video, because first I want to talk about what I managed to do in this season. So at the start of this competitive season, I put a video out and I said what I wanted to do. Now, my plan was kind of simple, I just wanted to play more DPS. I played a load of tanks in Season 2, which has given me a massive load of experience with Reinhardt and Zarya and other tanks, and even supports with Lucio and uh, Anna I played quite a lot of, and even a little bit of Zen, but it was mainly Lucio that I played. So I've got like basically Lucio and Reinhardt, which I can play to a very good standard, and I know I can play them at like Grandmaster level, so that's cool, and I can take them if ever I need them. Um, but I wanted to play more DPS, so what I did is, um, I streamed all of my placement games, and I actually played in a six stack, I think, for most of them, because that was just because my friends were playing, but we didn't win all of the games, but I played Soldier 76 in every single placement game, because that's who I was going to main for the season. Looking back at it now, I'm really annoyed that I didn't just carry on playing Soldier, because I think I might have been able to get close to top 500 with Soldier, if I just kept playing him over and over again, because I was getting to a point where I was getting really, really good with him. Anyway, we'll get onto that in a second, because what happened is, after the placement games, I then started playing... Um, just competitive generally with my friends. And those friends I was playing with at the time, they would be DPS characters or DPS mains. They would be support mains. And I was the best tank there. So it, it made sense for me to always default back to Reinhardt. So I was playing again a lot of Reinhardt. And that was fine. That was cool. I managed to get into Grandmaster. That's cool. And that is on Stylosa, which is like my main account. That was awesome. That was great. But then I wanted to play more DPS. So I went into a few games where I was just playing DPS. Now, strange things will happen. People would look at my profile and go, or oh, they'd know me, right? Most people would know who I was when I joined the game because it was Stylos. It'd be like, oh, hey, Sty. And they want me to play a tank. And that's fine. And I'll do it because I'll always play what the team needs. I'm not just going to say, no, I'm playing Tracer. Shut up. Somebody else take the tank. So what I did was I picked, I did actually pick Tracer in one of these games. And somebody said, um, can you take the tank? You're, you're a Reinhardt main. And I'm like, I, actually, I'm, I'm not a Reinhardt main, but I just play a lot of him. Okay, I'll do it for the team. And so I did it. I sort of, you know, whatever. It, it needed to be done, so I did it. Then I went into another game, and this happened like straight after the, that game. It was, it was literally the next game. I went in, and I said, um, I'm going to play Tracer again. No, actually, no, no, no. It was McCree. I was going to play McCree. That was it. And uh, it, again, the thing was, no, um, can you take Reinhardt? And I was like, oh my god, okay, whatever. So I took Reinhardt, and it was cool. We actually won both of those games, so I, you know, I'm not complaining. That was great. Then, however, this is when it just finally dawned on me that I probably would need to get a new account if I wanted to do this because it was causing toxicity and rage and it was triggering people in the team. I was playing Soldier 76. I had golden limbs, gold damage. I had gold objective kills. I had fairly high accuracy as well. Um, I know that doesn't necessarily mean much, but it meant as a DPS hero, I was actually doing my job. You know, this was a, a, a very high masters, grandmaster game, this was. So I was performing quite well, but the team started attacking me. Oh, if only that guy was playing Reinhardt. Oh, if only I was playing DPS, we would have won this, we would have won that. And so I realized that, hang on a minute, this account is so entrenched in tanks and supports that when it plays DPS, people are going to start throwing crap at me. 
So I just want to start again. What I want to do is get an account, a fresh account, and see what I can do. And there was also the lingering thing of, can I actually get myself into Grandmaster on my own? Because Stylosa played in duo and triple queue almost all of the time. There was maybe a handful of games that were solo queue. Most of it, well, in fact, almost all of it, 99% of the games were with other people in my, in my group. So you could kind of rely on them to do things. Like if I was playing with... Uh, you know, somebody who had an ultimate that I could combo with. If I was playing a, uh, a Zarya and I had a, a, a Tracer on my team, then we could combo the pulse bomb really easily because we're, we're talking to each other and we know what we're going to do. So yeah, there was that thing of, can I actually get to Grandmaster on my own? So I got a new account. This was the Steak Bake account. And I did my placement games. It placed into Master, I believe, which was pretty good. And then I didn't play it for ages and it decayed down to 3K. Then... I came back to it because I was playing on Stylosa again intermittently in between this. Came back to it again and within a very short period, again I've put videos on the channel covering this, I got it into Grandmaster in solo queue playing Soldier almost all of the time. I did swap out to McCree sometimes and then there was obviously other times where I would play, uh, you know, supports and whatever as needed. But Soldier was my main and that proved to me that, hang on a minute, I actually am okay at DPS, right? If I can get to Grandmaster on my own, that's a pretty solid performance. Um, and, and I really enjoyed that, but then I went through another phase of sort of looking at other heroes that I wanted to play, and I really wanted to learn how to play Tracer. Um, I've always been a fan of Tracer, and I played a very, I think she was the very first hero I played, actually. And the very first Overwatch video on the channel is me playing Tracer, I think, going, oh my god, Overwatch is not a casual game, I thought it was going to be this easy, noob-friendly game, but look at this hero, she jumps all over the place, it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I wanted to play Tracer, so, being an absolute crazy person, I got another account. And on this account, I was going to play loads and loads of Tracer and see if I could get that up into Grandmaster, and I did, and that was awesome. Um, and it was great, because it was like, total, like, a new sort of learning curve, and, as you guys are aware, I I've got another account because I'm an absolute crazy person. This account, though, hasn't, it's not actually got into Grandmaster. Um, yeah, I think it got really close. It got to like 3.97 or something like that. And then it dropped down a little bit. But this is Spitfire. And it's the one you're seeing footage of in the background, the Reinhardt gameplay on Iconvold. And this is a character where, it's well, it's an account where I go to just sort of... Um, chill almost not to take the piss or like troll people but i go there and it's like i can i play completely carefree like if the team you know if we need like a zen or we need like a mercy for whatever reason or we need to, it's cool i'll play it because that's the account where i just want to be more like learn my other hero so this is a very extreme case of somebody who has got tons and tons of accounts and i and i fully i don't expect people to have this many accounts it is kind of ludicrous you know, really, I should have just kept playing on Stylosa. And if I wanted to play DPS, I'd just sort of been like, whatever, I'm playing DPS. The thing is, though, I like to be flexible. And I do like to put the team first. And that's always, like, at the forefront in my mind. So it was a very interesting experience for me, Season 3 was. Because it started off the way it kind of ended. Like, I started off playing DPS, and then it ended playing DPS. Have I met my goals? Like, this is the thing, have I met my goals? Well, my goals were to get to Grandmaster. Top 500 would have been me performing out of my skin to get there. Do I think I could have done it? Well, I actually... I think I probably could. Um, I would need some luck to do it, I think. But I think I could probably do it, given how much I play the game and given like how I've literally spread my uh, playtime over like four accounts, which is absolutely <laughs> insane. I mean, what the hell? Um, but yeah, like I don't know. I, I, I think I've met my goals this season, but I met them in a very weird way. Like a really weird way. Like I, I sort of did it on multiple accounts, which is kind of crazy. So what the hell am I going to do for Season 4? This is the thing. And what are you guys going to do for Season 4? I tell you what I'm going to do for Season 4, I'm going to play Stylosa probably more than the other accounts, and I'm going to try and get it into Top 500, it's going to be, it's going to be a task. Um, I am starting to think about streaming more on twitch.tv forward slash unit lost, if that happens, um, you will see a lot of gameplay on there, um, and you'll see how I play, because I know a lot of people would like to see how I play more often, um, I, I have toyed with the idea of putting straight up gameplay clips onto the channel, um, and I probably will do that at some point, like some sort of solo queue series maybe, or even in the series where I'm playing with other people, um, but I think it fits more to like a live stream, so I might start bringing that back, so we'll, you know, we'll have to stay tuned for that guys, because it's definitely something I want to do, because I used to stream loads and loads in the past anyway it was awesome yeah so that was me in season three i think i met my goals but i met them in a crazy way when i try and look at the season itself and think are there any issues you could probably say there's an issue with placement was again an issue where people would get placed in in places where they kind of didn't belong some people would get placed a lot lower some people would get placed a lot higher or you get people who would go on massive win streaks and end up like 
very deep into Grandmaster when they don't actually belong there. And you could really tell. You get into a game and you'd be like, oh my god, these guys were like platinum in Season 2. Now all of a sudden they're like high Grandmaster. It's like, what is going on? They, they, they can't have improved that much. But yeah, we could talk about that all day. So guys, do let me know in the comments below if you managed to meet your Season 3 competitive goals. I did, but in a very weird way. And tell me what your Season 4 goals are. Um, like I said, I would like to get into Top 500. It would be very awesome if I could do that. But yeah, alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm Salosa and this is Unit Lost. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.